All right, we're recording. <laughs> all right, hey guys, welcome to your team call. I'm excited to see all of you as usual. I wanted to start with our recognition first, and then we're going to have an awesome guest speaker talk to you guys. Uh, I'm not going to give it away, but clearly he's the only dude on this call, so you'll you'll see his face. You know who he is. Um, but I'm going to do the recognition first, and then we'll get into that. So let's look at the leaderboard. All right, I've got too many windows open. Ah. All right, so I'm going to start with our life changers this week. And I know before I even say it, I know some of the numbers are wrong. Um, I know some of you should have three points because they're the uh, double time and the third point is added later. So this is what the back office said. Just putting that out there so the chat box doesn't blow up with like, I have more than what it says. But we're going to start with those people who uh, have two. <laughs> there it goes. All right. So our top, our life changers this week. With two, we have Katie Petrillo, Brandon Caco, Christy Caco, Carissa Van Dever, Caroline O'Neill, Judy Ann Ridley, Megan Scott, Lauren Kinker, Sarah Jenkin, Jennings. Sorry, I don't know why I said Jenkins. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Victoria Godber. Cody Clark, Eileen Spensley, Brandy Erickson with three. We have Alicia Hendelson with four. We have Taylor Gross with four. We have Brittany Swanson and Jennifer Blight uh, with six. We have Lauren Avon, Brittany Long with seven. We have Corey Mueller with eight. We have Colby Rubino, who is legit a brand new coach. So congratulations to you. Uh, we have Natalie Balsama with 8, and Emmy Schneider-Green with 11, and myself with 13. So total success club points that we have earned as a team is 100, which is awesome that we've already hit 100. And we've changed 50 lives together as a team, which is incredible. So keep working hard, keep helping people, keep changing lives. You're doing great. And we have our top recruiters. I'll start with those who signed up one coach so far this month. We have Victoria Godber, Natalie Balsamo, Megan Stockney, Lindsay Dressig with, oh, I messed that up, with one as well, Haley, I don't know how to say her name. Actually, she has two now, sorry. Uh, Colby Rubino, Brandy Erickson, those are with one. With two, we have Christy Kako, Haley Altizer, I think I said that right, uh, Mary Boyd, Lauren Avon, Katie Petrillo, myself, Brittany Long, and with three, we have Emmy Schneider-Green and Corey Mueller. So congratulations to our top recruiters and our life changers so far this month. If you're not up here, you've got plenty of time. I do want to say before we get into our presentation today, um, take advantage of the things that are coming up this week and weekend. We've got Black Friday. We've got Small Business Saturday. And we've got Cyber Monday. So those are three days where you can make up some kind of promotion for your business, whatever you want, it's your business, and you can do some kind of incentive or giveaway or whatever to get yourself on the board, to grow your business, to hit your rank, or to you know just help people. So just putting that out there, you gotta make up something, come up with some kind of plan, but I've, I've seen people do it and it works. Probably we'll do something similar as well, so just wanted to give you that information so you can do that. Um, and I think that's it as far as um, announcements. I did want you to know I posted all of the double time, or not double time, 80-day um, obsession packages, the PDF in the team page. So I want you guys to check that out so that you guys know what the packages are because there's a lot of them. And it's different than just your normal challenge pack. So make sure you check those out. If you have any questions, make sure you're asking those questions. And also, we need to come up with some kind of game plan for... 80 day obsession. So we can do that on another call, but I just wanted to put that out there that we need to do something for that as well. But that's it for recognition and announcements. So now I'm going to turn it over to our guest speaker, Darwin, <laughs> Jeffrey Darwin Matheson. Um, he's going to talk to you guys today. Um, he actually came to our retreat. So you guys were watching us having fun at our retreat this year and envisioning yourself being there next year. Jeff actually surprised the girls with a training. He did one-on-one -on -one mentorships with them, and they didn't know that he was coming. He, he actually got to see the house before we did, which is kind of funny. But he, <laughs> it was an and awesome time. And I fixed time. the elevator. You're welcome. Yeah, he fixed the elevator when we got stuck in there. <laughs> Christy and Jeff and I were all stuck in the elevator because only we're supposed to have two people, which we figured out after we got stuck. 
Um, but he's got a really amazing presentation for you guys. He talked to us a little bit about it at the retreat, and we felt that it was something that the entire team could benefit from. So we wanted to share it with you and not keep the info to ourselves. And we figured what better way to share it than have the man himself share it with you. So without further ado, I'm going to have Jeff take it away and it's all you. Thanks for being wow. here. Look at that intro. This whole coaching thing doesn't work out, Carolyn. We could hire you at a corporate to introduce everybody at Summit. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the headband, too. You know, Thanks. someone that has the quaff like I do right now, I, 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 I can value a good headband when I see one. So well done. How are you guys? It's good to see some good, familiar faces and some new ones that I've never met before. And uh, I appreciate you guys taking time out on a busy Monday ahead of Thanksgiving this week. I know a lot of you may be traveling or as I found out today, because I was supposed to be in charge of the Thanksgiving turkey at the big Matthewson family bonanza, um, apparently it takes like five days to thaw turkey. I haven't done that yet. So I'm no longer in charge of the turkey and Mama Matthewson is now taking it back over. So if you're prepping your turkey or you're getting ready to travel or whatever you're doing, uh, just family time tonight, hobbies, I appreciate you taking time out to jump on this call. Hope that something that you know I share, we discuss, is able to resonate with you or you're able to take it back with your teams and challenge groups and be able to share it with them. So um, good to see some of the crew. Christy, I told you I'd represent for you today. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Um, so guys, I got a couple things I wanna share and it is some kind of similar to what I shared at the uh, retreat for those that were there, but it's gonna be a little bit different too. Um, I was actually just this past weekend out in Boston, Massachusetts, Beantown if you will, and met with a bunch of coaches and leaders out there and um, before I went in there, a bunch of the leaders were saying, hey, we'd love you to just come in and talk about mindset, right? We'd love you to talk about setting goals, and making sure we're finishing the year strong and, you know, that our vision is clear. So here's my thing. I'm not going to talk a lot about mindset. I told these coaches out there the same thing. Um, because in my opinion, our mindset, those on this call that are going to watch it later, while it's not perfect, we're developing it every day, right? That's why we have personal development. That's why we set goals. That's why we challenge ourselves. But I believe and I feel that your mindset is in the right place because you're on this call, you're committed, you're showing up because you want something out of this whole beach body coaching thing, this entrepreneur endeavor, this whatever whatever it is, startup business. Your mindset is right. Like you want this. You you are passionate about what you do. Now, are we perfect? No. And do we struggle? Yes. That's why we gotta continue to hone our skills and develop ourselves each day and try to get better than the previous day, right? So with that said, I'm not going to talk about much about mindset, but I'm going to talk about some action steps that we, including us here at corporate, can take to help you guys leverage the most uh, success within your teams and your businesses. Sound good? And before I get into that, I even like give you time to respond to that. Sorry, but you know, there's some head nods. Um, if we're not connected on Facebook, I'd love to connect with you because if you ever have any questions, concerns, needs, comments about you talk too much, whatever it is. You can message me here um, coming out of the call. I just put it in the chat box, my profile. Um, let's get connected. So it is fun to see, like I said, some familiar faces. Also some names that I do know about, but I've never really met or got to know. Kelly Trimble being one of them. Rock star of a coach. Corey, Alicia, um, Katie Petrillo. I've seen your name floating around a little bit in a good way. Okay, we watch you guys here at corporate. And uh, you guys are doing some really good things with not just your teams, but you know, with everybody around you, helping them set goals, get healthy, and uh, change their lives. It's pretty impactful what you do, and don't overestimate it. And don't underestimate it, I should say, because you are making an impact. And from myself, Jeff Hill, Carl, the whole crew out here, we sincerely appreciate what you do. Now with that said, let's dig into some meat and potatoes, all right? Ready for this? Okay. Um, Maroney, I'll send you this deck if you want. If people are like, hey, I'd like to see the presentation or whatever. Um, but I'm going to attempt to share my screen, guys, and I hope it's going to work. So bear with me. Let me just share this real quick. Let's see. Carry the one. Drop the two. All right. Can you guys see that big bad boy on the screen? Okay. So it's a big logo, right, Christy? Or Emmy, I can see Emmy on my screen. It's a big beach body blue screen, right? Okay, cool. So here's what I want to talk about tonight. Some of you are going to recognize these. Okay? I'm going to talk a little bit about them, but I want to put Lauren Avon on the spot. Lauren, 
for 5,000 bonus points of volume into your team, just kidding, I can't do that or I'll get fired, but theoretically 5,000 bonus points that you can redeem at, I don't know, Summit or something. Um, what is this? It's a key. <laughs> well done, 5,000 points. For an extra 10,000 points, Lauren, what do keys do? They open locks. Okay. Or <laughs> doors. Or doors. No. What, what else do they do? Um, what else do they do? They unlock things. They unlock things. Okay. Anybody else have any ideas of what keys do? You want to chime in, unmute yourselves. Go ahead and share. You're right. I'm not saying you're wrong. Those are good. Okay. I mean, they, lock stuff. <laughs> they also lock things back up. Oh, they give you clues and they guide you in uh, the direction that you need to go. I like it. Is that Alicia? That's Alicia. Alicia, you get... You know what, Alicia, you are going to get something out of my office today for that answer because that was, hey, that was so I haven't gotten any swag yet in my whole venture here yet. So I got my 365 scoop the other day. That was pretty cool. But I'm, if I'm getting swag from you, I'm so for so. Thank you, Jeff. I didn't say swag, but I guess I better send that now. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. You were connected on Facebook, so remind me. We'll, we'll make sure that that – never receiving swag changes. So here's the thing, guys. We know what keys are, right? This is, you're probably like, wow, I really took time out of my day to come learn about a key. Sort of. I want you to keep this in mind as we go through this training because we're going to talk today a little bit about three, in my opinion, keys to success that every Beachbody coach and every entrepreneur really needs to try to implement to see some momentum and growth in their business. Ruby, here's the three. Oh, it didn't click over. Where's my little mouse? Hold on. There we go. Three keys for a successful coach. We're gonna go over these today. First one, decide. Ooh, we've heard that one before, right? Second one, commit. Really, you know where this is going. You've heard this like 5,000 times. And succeed. My opinion, these are three things that every Beachbody coach needs to make sure they're implementing and leveraging to see some success and growth in their business. There's a lot of other things you guys can be doing, I get it, but these are kind of the three sections or the three keys we're gonna hit on today, or tonight, this evening. If you're back west, whatever, today, whatever, wherever you're at, we're hitting it right now. And we're going to talk about decide first of all. And here's what decide means in my opinion. And Christy and Emmy and Lauren and all those that were at the retreat, probably like, this isn't what we saw. You're right. Because this is only the second time I've ever done this training. So there will be new stuff for you. You're welcome. Decide. That is key number one, right? And to me, that means decide to renew and innovate. Now, I know Carolyn and Emmy, you joined us out at our leadership event, so you heard a little bit about some of the ways that we're trying to renew and innovate a corporate. Guys, if you have any doubt or you're wondering what the heck we're doing over here, you have our commitment, and I will vouch on our behalf, not to put us on a pedestal or anything, but we are actively looking and trying and working and just doing all we can to renew and innovate and give you guys the tools, the best resources, some some change, some different things that you can implement to really be successful as a coach and entrepreneur. So you have our commitment on that, that we are deciding to renew and innovate. And I'm going to share a couple of ways with you that we are doing so. Then we're going to invite you guys to renew and innovate in a specific way with an uh, action item. Okay. So we'll get to that in a sec. Here's the first way that we are renewing and innovating that I think is beneficial and should get you very excited as a Beachbody coach. It addresses volume and results. Yay! Results are always good as a beach body coach, right? We don't sell products and programs, we advocate relationships and results. So what we're trying to innovate with is how do we help people get more results and inspire them to see more momentum in what they're achieving. Okay. First way, not gonna cover these a ton, but this is pretty cool. You guys have been asking for them. They are coming. The beach body snack bars, okay? Why am I excited about it? Why do I think this is a way that we can look to renew and innovate? As you're talking to coaches or you're talking to clients or customers or challengers or just strangers in your cold or warm markets, bars are a great way, is, to, is a key, a gateway to introduce people to what you do, right? It's, easily, it's easy to share. It's a great entry point to your environment as a coach. Here's some of the market benefits. Look at it right now. More than seven to 10 adults snack two times per day on a bar. That's a lot of bars. Okay. Who had a bar today? Raise your hand if you've eaten some sort of bar. Okay, I'm the only one. All right. Well, you guys can sell them to me then. 
But the U.S. bar market continues to grow. <laughs> I couldn't see everyone. I'm sure there was someone. 24% in the last five years, and they are the largest segment of the U.S. bar market, okay? So there's opportunity for some market penetration, okay? Here's what's cool about them, too. They're going to be offering a couple of different bundles so that you can get a 15-bar box, two-carton bundle, three-bundle, whatever it is. And you see the price. I'm not going to cover this too much, guys. The price and the volume there, but it basically equates out to be about $1.99 a bar, which is pretty sweet. Here's the second way that we're looking to innovate with the volume and the results. Who's excited, or I should say, who's heard about 2B Mindset? Got some hands. Who's excited about this program? I am. Here's why. Guys, there is a need to address specifically nutrition. There are people out there that either don't like to work out at all, shocking, I know, okay, or physically they cannot. They cannot exercise, they cannot work out. And yes, this 2B mindset address those two platforms, sure, but it gives you as a coach and entrepreneur more options to share the opportunity with people, right? And that's gonna be coming out in the coming year, okay? It's gonna have several videos, step-by-step. -step. I'm trying to pull up the chat box and I can't. Let me see if I can, I don't know if there's questions coming in. One sec. Oh, no, no questions, I'm watching it. Okay, if there is, because I can't see the chat box, but there is like just, Tell me to shut up and we'll answer him. I'll let you know. I know you will. Okay, can you guys still see the presentation? All right, groovy. Oh look, I just won an office trophy, guys. Look at that, it's always fun around here. Where am I gonna put this thing? All right, sorry about that. We don't, we don't have a little fun around the office. Um, but to be mindset, guys, again, it's another way that you can help introduce the beach body opportunity, but more so your culture yeah. and others. Okay. Is that a question? I thought I heard someone. Maybe not. Okay. Sorry about that. Here's what else is cool. The way that we're deciding to innovate and renew. Guys, there's a total company focus on challenge packs. I'm going to spend more time right here right now because this is, if you are really looking to finish the year strong and start the year off right, you need to do your best to understand the new offerings of challenge packs. I'm going to preface it by saying this. Coming out of this call, I don't expect you to understand it all. In fact, you won't because I'm not going to cover it in that much detail. But some of the action items that we're going to cover will help you go and check out these tools and materials that you need to know to be able to really leverage this, okay? We have a new program coming out called 80 Day Obsession. Probably heard about it, okay? The new program by Autumn Calabrese. Awesome program that's designed to get some killer results or an 80-day period with some time nutrition, okay, and leveraging some different equipment. Here's how it's gonna work though with this launch, okay? And you can expect this moving forward with our product launches, okay? When we come out with a new program, we're gonna follow the same model, okay? And it is specifically targeted for you guys to go and target three segments. One, your existing coach base, okay? So any coaches that are already on your team, doesn't matter how long they've been a coach or whatever. The second one is your new coaches and your new customers. And the third segment is your existing Beachbody On Demand customers, okay? That's the way that I want you to look at these packs that I'm gonna show you here in a second. Are those three segments, and I'm gonna talk about the three packs for each of those segments. Dill? Dill, you're probably like, this is a really fun call, woohoo. Again, we're giving you some tools to work with here. So right now, the majority of you are probably, when you're talking about challenge packs or Beachbody On Demand, you're probably offering two models, right? One is the, $160 all access challenge pack gets you $50 in commissions and 45 points of team volume. Or the $99 Beach Body on Demand, about $38 in commissions and 38 team volume, right? That is kind of the offerings that we can go at people with. Is that a lot? Sure. Is it sufficient? Could be. But guys, we realize that this model doesn't necessarily fit everyone in your audience or in your market, right? Sometimes it feels like you're trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Someone may not want beach body on demand. Shocking, because they get a killer value, but they may not. Someone may not want to spend 160 bucks on an all access challenge pack, right? There's gotta be different, different options for people to get them again, introduced and exposed to the great environment that you have on your team and in your business. The new packs are gonna help with that. Before I share what they are, here are some of the benefits that I see. There's a little bit of Jeffology here from the new packs that you can kind of leverage and get excited about. Number one, 
there is actually higher personal volume than the cost on some of these program packs, which is cool. It's the first time ever that's happened. Um, there's cost savings across these packs. There's discounted performance products. So energize, recover, you're getting the, uh, you have the opportunity to get these products at a discounted price for the first time ever. And it's only through these packs that that's gonna happen. Okay, there's a program pack I'll show you in a, sec a second that gives you your coach's active status. Um, but the biggest thing I would say with these different packs, guys, is it enables you to get your team, your coaches, your customers, to have skin in the game, right? Those on this call, if you've started a program and completed it, like how much does that change your mindset? How much does that change how much you believe in what you do? How much does that anchor you in your purpose and your why, right? We've got to get more people to put skin in the game so that they decide they commit and they succeed with a program. Because if you want to have people on your team that are just going to float around, which isn't a bad thing, then great. You can do that. If you want people that are going to turn into advocates that will want to share this, that are passionate about helping as many people as they possibly can, that will have no reservations and no qualms about walking up and down the street, hollering to the, from the rooftops about what they have to offer and the value that it can help people with, get them to have skin in the game. And these packs are designed to help do that. Okay, and it can help you re-engage some of those leaders, existing coaches that may have fallen off or that haven't really responded to your messages in a bit. Okay, here's what they look like, and I'm going to put this up, and I want to ask each of you not to freak out and not go like, "Oh my gosh, that looks like rocket science." Kind of does. That's why you got me. Okay, one, two, three. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, here's the thing, Carolyn. I will be sending you the digital version of this. You can provide it to the team. I meant to do it before, but we're making a few last tweaks to this thing. Okay, Over can I share left. this today? Is it different? Uh, no. No, there may be, I don't know how old yours is, but there may be some differences just on some of the volume, but I doubt it's different than what you put up, no. So you okay. should be good. Okay, and I will say this. Um, some of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't understand it. Even though he explained a little bit, I still don't understand it. We're going to talk about the action items to help us with that. Okay. So don't worry. We're just going to cover it real quick. These are the different packs. Remember what I said earlier? These are essentially the, the two platforms through which you can go to people. Guys, we're now giving you a lot more. Okay. More options. And here's how I would look at it. And I, I'm not going to train you on these packs. That'd be a really boring call. And you're probably like, it's already boring. Do you get us some meat here? Well, here's the meat. I'm going to give you the, the fun stuff here in a sec. Here's how I would look at it as a coach in three ways. Number one, again, my target markets or who, who my audience is. And you can see up here at the top in green where it says challenge packs for new customers and coaches. Okay, that's your first market, your new customers and coaches. Your second one is in that bright yellow color. Completion packs for existing beach body on demand only customers. And then third in blue down at the bottom, your program packs, which is essentially for any existing customers and coaches on your team. Okay. Three different targets. The second way to look at it is by the three different packs offered in each of those groups. Okay. A mega pack, a combo pack, and a basic pack. And you see that there's one of those for each of the first two. But then down at the bottom, the program packs just have a mega pack and a program pack. Stay with me. The third thing I will want you to look at is up at the top where it says note. It says all 80-day obsession packs have promotional pricing only from December 14th through January 14th. Meaning on all of these packs, guys, during that period, there is going to be a promotional price that's even lower than the regular price. And the volume will be adjusted according as well. And you see that here on the screen where it shows the price that's bolded, that's the regular price, and next to it, it'll have the other price, that's the promo price, okay? Those are the three things to kind of look at with this chart to help understand it better, okay? And if you have questions, again, that's why you're connected with me, we'll talk about them after. Here's a couple things that stand out to me. If I'm a coach, if I'm one of you guys right now, I am, before this drops December 14th, without leaving behind your strategies you got going, your challenge groups you have rolling right now, like don't, don't just scrape everything and go for this. But if you want to see some sustained momentum building into next year, take advantage of right now, which is essentially the pre-launch period. Okay, these packs aren't available till December 14th. 
the program doesn't even come out till January 14th. So why are we pushing it now? Well, here's why. As you're talking to people, okay, holidays are a great time to do that. Um, as you are trying to build this, here's how you can approach it. You see with some of these packs that the mega pack has energized recover. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas of what I'd be doing. If I was a coach and I knew that people could get a discount on Energize and Recover and take advantage of this new program, I'd be going to my back office and I'd be running a customer report for anybody that's ever ordered Energize or Recover ever, and I'm building a list, which is what you see on the right side of the screen, right? I'm building a list of people that have ever ordered that. And then over the next few weeks before the 14th, I'm forming, right? I'm reaching out to these people. Hey, Christy, I know you've ordered Energize before, you continue to order for a long time, hope it's working well for you. Just so you know, with some of these new packs we have coming out, okay, where Christy's one of my existing customers and coaches, I'm gonna tell her about that mega program pack. We're gonna be starting a team exclusive group January 14th with 80 Day Obsession. I want you in it, but to be in it, you need to get that mega pack. You're gonna get energized at a discounted rate, you're gonna get recovery at a discounted rate, and you're gonna get all the printed collateral, the equipment, and everything you need to be successful with this program. Right, that's one way to address it. You can go to some of your, uh, your new customers and coaches. Tell them about the mega challenge pack. Work your way down, guys, from the mega to the combo to the basic pack. Don't just start with the basic, because you, even though it may be priced a little high, you never know if someone is willing to commit to that because they care about their health and wellness. They want to make sure they have everything they need to be successful, okay? But what I'm doing, I'm going to, and I'm looking at my list. I'm looking at my contact list of who may be interested in 80-day obsession. You know, I'm starting, I'm talking about my groups I'm going to be running, okay? I'm going to my existing customers and coaches. Another way to approach this, look down at the bottom with the blue program packs. On my team, if I have existing customers and coaches that may be falling off, or even if they haven't and they're still engaged and running, guys, I'm running a, a, a leader group of 80-day obsession where we're checking in, we're doing the program together, but to be in the group, you need to have either a mega pack or a program pack. Here's the thing, check out that program pack, the very bottom one. This is the one, the, the promo price for a coach is 37 bucks. The volume that you get off of that, if you go over, is 45 points of team volume. But right below that, guess what? That's 50 points of PV. 50 points of PV is a coach makes that coach active. That reinstills some belief, it reinstills some volume growth, and it gets some people back in the game that haven't been there. Okay, what would it do to you, your business, if you were able to go to 10 of your coaches or five of your coaches or even two of your coaches and get them on that pack? Would that be beneficial? Probably. And so guys, we could spend 40 minutes or more going over this page. I'm not going to, but take advantage now of this pre-launch period to really drive excitement and and engagement in this because as you're talking to people and you commit them to these packs, even before December 14th launches, essentially over on the right side of the screen, you write down their name, you write down their email, which pack they want. December 14th, guess what? You're, you're sending the share a cart feature in the new website, which is basically you send that to them, they click it, they place their order, and all day on the 14th, all you're doing essentially is placing orders for people you've been talking to the past month, right? Start now to take advantage of that. And as we go, ahead towards January 14th, there's gonna be the sneak, not the sneak peek, but a little obsessed happening December 20th, you can leverage that. It's just some great ways, again, for you to really drive some activity towards this program launch, rather than waiting for it to launch and then trying to figure it out. Okay, makes sense? That was a lot, okay? I, I almost wasn't gonna share all that, but I'm like, these guys are good, they get it, but guys, I really think that this can be a huge driver for your teams and your businesses so long as you can understand it, grasp it, and do your best to implement it. I do have one question. Sorry. Bring it. Um, does program pack contents include the containers as well? Yes. Okay. I figured yeah. it, but you never know because double time didn't come with them. So I was just checking. Yeah. Nope, you're good. So, and you'll see it kind of down in the, it, it might be a little faded on your screens um, below program pack. So with the program pack, you get the printed collateral, the equipment, which is the sliders oh, and the okay. bands, and then the containers. Which, if you think about it, guys, the sliders and the bands themselves are about 30-something bucks on Amazon together. So for 37 bucks, you're getting that. You're getting the containers. You're getting the printed collateral, meaning all the guides and things that you need to be successful. 
even think about this. If you're like, man, my coaches aren't like they, they've got it, but they could also get it as some promotional material. Like if they're running their own groups, order a couple extra program packs and say, Hey, we're going to do a giveaway to get your bands and sliders. If you get in my group by this date, right. There's some ways that you can really leverage that to help drive some growth, but incentivize, I guess your challengers a bit. Right. So again, I mentioned like three ways to maybe attack this. This is just giving you a lot of options to go with. Don't get overwhelmed, but try to leverage some of those strong points that you think you can take advantage of. Good question. Other questions. There's, there's no bad ones with me. Cause I know this is a lot. I have one more too. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Um, so you normally when we're talking to people and I know this is how most of the people on the team do this, you know, you talk to them, you ask them questions, you interview them, figure out what their goals are. Um, and then when it comes time to present them with the price, do you recommend like starting with the big macho man one and then kind of know too much? All right, let's work our way down. Know too much, work our way down. Or just say, here are your three options, whichever one's best for you. Like, I don't know. What would you think? Because I don't want to say like $400 and they're like, whoa, no. And then they don't answer you anymore because I feel like I could see that happening. No, yeah, totally. Here, I'm, I'm going to give you three answers. Because <laughs> you know me, I'm short with it. Yeah. Answer number one, I would say, trust your gut meaning hopefully you know these individuals you don't know them perfect but you know them well enough to kind of you want to meet them where they're at right mm -hmm. you don't want to just set someone up for failure of getting a you know four hundred dollar mega pack if like they just said well i don't have a lot of money you know you, you you got to meet them where they're at is what i would say here's the second thing i would say guys um i have a a close family member that i don't know no, I'm going to, I don't care. I'll say the company that is looking to become a Rodan, Rodan and Fields uh, rep. Great company. Okay. Um, their packs for beauty products, their cheapest one is 400 bucks to start. Their second one is about 750 and their, their mega pack, which is, you know, I don't, it has some different things in it is a thousand dollars. So what, why do I bring that up? And it's not to put them down or put shine light on that. Like I said, they're a great company. They're very successful. This is still comparatively in the network marketing world. These starting costs are really, really a bargain um, for what you're getting. And you're getting, I mean, in like the mega pack, four containers of the recover, two containers of the energize, Shakeology HD, the, the program containers, bought all access. Right. And so, Comparatively, it's it's good. Here's the third answer I would give. If it were me, don't sell yourself short. Like if you understand and you believe in the value of this, run with that. You never know who would want to do a mega pack, right? But you've got you've got to approach it, I think, with to get the best results because throughout 80 day obsession, guys, autumn is encouraging the uses of energize, of recover, right, with the time nutrition. But to get the best results, we have the mega pack. And then I would work my way down. If they're not interested, okay, tell them about the, the combo pack. Okay, it's still a great deal. Look at the savings, right? They're still getting a lot of the collateral. At the time, from what we've seen, um, kind of with some initial response with this, with when people get to the basic pack, they start realizing, wow, there's actually quite a bit of value with the combo pack and the mega pack. What? And if anything, yeah, they'll get a, a basic pack because they're like, well, no, that's, you know, it's still great, but they may bounce back up to that. So if it were me, yes, I would approach it leading with the mega pack and going down. Here's an example, not just my opinion. I guess here's a fourth answer. There's a coach in the network and they have a large organization. I get it. So, you know, a lot of people on the call are going to be like, wow, I'd even like the percentage of that. Right. So they essentially went to their entire downline. Okay. And looking at the, the blue area here, the program packs. They went to their entire team right now, which is thousands and thousands. And they essentially said, guys, I, I want to leverage this. I've been in the test group. We're going to run a specific team only group of 80 day obsession, but to be in the group, you're going to get some exclusive content from me, from some other people in the test group. You know, they've reached out to corporate, like to do some calls in the group or whatever, just trying to get some exclusive exclusivity to it. But he approached them by saying, to be in it, you need to get a mega pack because it's going to help you get the best results. You're going to have everything you need to be successful in it. You're going to put skin in the game. Like if you're, if you want to build your business, you got to understand the power of this mega pack, right? That's how he approached it. So far he has 354 people committed to a mega pack December 14th. Imagine 350 people ordering a pack that's 
over 200 points of volume, that's over 60,000 points of volume to your business just by without even selling a product yet, right? Just getting commitment and having those conversations. So there is power there. So yes, work your way down is what I would say is the long, that's a short response, but meet people where they're at. Yeah. Well, one, one question I think that could really help you figure out whether if you can even present that is, are you lactose intolerant or are you vegan? Because they can't do the performance, um, like the recover anyway. So it's kind of a waste to tell them about it if they're not able to use it. So, yeah. And, and and again, and and that's, that's the beauty of these packs guys. Like you just, you mentioned one way, Carolyn, to approach this. Okay. If they're vegan or not, that's, but there's more than just two offerings now that you can go at them with, right? So that, that's what's cool about this. It just gives you more flexibility. And so, that, so that's what's going to take us to this next slide real quick, if I can find it. Key number one was decide, right? Here's the invitation I have for you guys to really decide to innovate and renew. Leverage this 80-day obsession pre-launch, okay? Start looking at some of your existing teams maybe some contact lists that you could build. Is it people that have ordered certain products? Is it people who have started a program and haven't finished it? Really just start trying to get some excitement and some people interested in starting a group with you to really get that driving. Okay. Cause there's a lot of ways you can approach this. All right. That was the really long key. The next two are going to be a little shorter and a little more fun than numbers, but this, uh, my, my invitation for you guys would be two things with this. Yes, to leverage it, but do this. One, that chart with the packs, study that as your personal development, okay? Even if it's five minutes a day of looking at it and just getting familiar with what's in it or the value or the cost savings or whatever it is, it makes you more confident in sharing that with people, right? The second would be this, on the Beachbody Champions page, and I'll try to find the link and go, I'll send it to you, Carolyn, you can disseminate with the group. Um, Kim Carver did a, a live video on the Beachbody Champions page, I believe it was last Thursday, where he basically broke that down and explained ways to leverage it a lot better than I did. I watched that, okay, as part of my personal development. Because, again, the more fluid you can get, the better you're able to leverage it. And the way that we're going, like this is going to be the way that we approach program launches and challenge packs moving forward. So it's a good thing to pick up. All right, we're moving. Now we can all perk up and be like, all right, the boring number stuff that will help me build a successful business is over. Now let's have some fun. It is fun. This is the fun part too. Key number two, commit. Commit to action. Guys, when I'm out on the road and I'm talking with, if it's a 15-star or a brand-new coach, no matter where you're at in this business, I always get the question of, Jeff, I've hit a wall. I'm struggling. My, I'm losing my fire. I'm getting burned out. Or I have... I have great people on my team, but they just, they've hit a wall. They don't want to go They're They're losing motivation. They're not seeing success as quick as they would like. Like, how can I get our, our heads back in the game? How can I get my mindset right? And I tell them you've got to act right. Your mindset doesn't matter guys. It doesn't mean Jack, if it doesn't result in a change of action or execution. So what I want to share with you real quick is something that I usually share with these coaches. Um, and this is based off what I've learned from other leaders and coaches, nothing that I've really come up with. It's something that Kim Carver and I, and our team have discussed, but it's a good kind of self-evaluation and action step list. Okay. But before I share what those are, I want you to ask yourself two questions. Okay. This is the check yourself before you wreck yourself question. This way you'll remember it. Number one, am I doing my three, three to fives every day of my business? And you may be asking, what are those? I'm going to show, show you on the next screen, but ask yourself, am I doing my three, three to fives every day of my business? The second one, what would my business look like if I did my three, three to fives every day? Okay. What would it look like at the end of a year, at the end of six months, I did these things every day. And the majority of the time guys, when I ask coaches, these, they're not doing them. It's not a fault to them. I mean, we're human, right? But Keeping it simple and executing against these three, three to fives can really drive some sustained residual growth and momentum. At least from what we've seen with people that are seeing sustained residual growth and momentum. So here they are. Remember that. Am I doing them? And what would my business look like at the end of the year, end of six months, whatever your time frame is, if I did these three, three to fives? Number one, am I, and some of these are going to be intimidating to some on this call or the watch the recording. And for some of you, it's going to be like, 
easy. I got this. But you're not doing it every day, right? Three to five new conversations a day. Am I having those? Guys, it doesn't have to be a conversation about being a coach. Just have three to five new conversations a day, okay? Um, if you are putting the kids down for the night, trying to get them to sleep, I know I do that every night, and my little guy is a stubborn little turd, and he doesn't like to go to sleep very quick. That could be a great time to follow up on it or to have a conversation, right? To message someone. Okay. Three to five new conversations a day. Imagine what that would do if you did that for 365 days. I bet out of those conversations, you're going to find some runners. I bet out of those conversations, you're going to find some people that are going to rock a challenge group, right? If you don't put yourself out there, how are people going to know the value that you, you can add to people's lives, right? Here's the second one. Am I doing three to five acts of inviting per day. Now notice how I didn't say three to five invites. Could that be three to five invites to a challenge group? Sure. Could it be the coaching? Sure. I'm just talking about acts of inviting. Just get in the act, the habit of inviting. Invite your friend to lunch. It's, guys, it is not normal for us to be proactive in inviting people to do stuff or to get them to act, right? It's the reason why I never had a date all through high school because I was so stinking timid of every girl around me. I never asked them. Right? Cackles giggling. I knew you would. Three to five acts of inviting. It'll make a big, big difference. One with your mindset, two with your confidence, but three with the growth of your business. Invite. Here's the third one. Am I doing three to five follow-ups a day? So if someone liked your post, go and shoot them a message. If someone responded to your post about a sneak peek group and you haven't followed up yet, go follow up, right? Those follow-ups are key. On average, guys, this is from a case study that um, I want to say was from Harvard Business Review. Don't quote me on that. I did it in my MBA program a few years ago, but they were talking about Coca-Cola and people that respond to their marketing messages and how many times they have to hear a marketing message from Coca-Cola before an individual say, here's my dollar, I want a Coke. Guess what that number is? You can type, hey, oh, let's play a game. In the chat box, okay, this will wake some people up. In the chat box, type how many times someone has to hear a marketing message on average before they decide to act. If you guess it correct, if you guess it correct, I'll send you a prize. Ooh, we got some seven, six, three, eight, five, eight, ten. Okay, we got five more seconds to get your answers in. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, Aaron got it in just in time. So here's, here's, here's what they said based on this case study. On average, guys, remember this is an average, so it could be less, it could be more. People have to hear a marketing message 33 to 34 times on average before they decide to act on it. So 33 to 34 times on average, someone has to see a Coke truck drive by, uh, my phone case says Coca-Cola, Emmy asking Lauren if she wants to go grab a Coke because she's thirsty, a TV commercial, whatever it is, 33 to 34 times. Now, I don't share that to, like, be motivated. You're like, oh, this call sucks. I have to talk to people 33 times before I do anything? <sighs> no, it's not for that. But it's to show you that consistent, I don't even want to call it marketing, that consistent relationship building, that consistency and putting yourself out there and letting people know what you have to offer makes a huge difference. Even though they're not liking or commenting your post, they're watching. I can tell you that much. And one of these days, something with these people's backstories, something with their lives is going to change to where they're going to want to act and they're going to approach you. But if you're actively out there actively inviting, guess what? You may find them before they come to you. 33 is my favorite number too. I should have said that. Kelly, you should have. Next time. Next time. Emmy was the closest without going over $1, Bob. Yes, you were. So way to go, Emmy. You're a big winner today. Um, oh, and you study marketing? Oh, I guess you're not the winner. So the next closest will win. Guys, these three, three to fives, it's not rocket science. I know you guys have heard this. Probably like, I know I've heard this. This is, I know. It makes a huge difference. What would your business look like if you did that every single day that you're beach body coaching for six months, for three months, for a year, right? You're going to get some engagement. I, I can tell you, it's, it has to, it has to. You have so much value to add, it has to work. Here's the little wild card. Oh, I didn't advance it, hold on. Am I, oh geez, hold on. Technology's not my strong point. Am I running 
Okay, this is not a three, three to five. This is a little wild card here. Am I running one new challenge group and or sneak peek each month? If it's a challenge group with you and one other yeah. person, run it. Okay? Again, you're getting in the act of building something, of getting people engaged, helping them get results. Ask yourself if you're doing these. If you are, continue to do it and be more consistent. If you're not, start now. You don't have to be perfect, but work towards it. Okay? So here's the invitation number two with key number two. Execute the three, three to fives. Right? Challenge yourself. That's it on that one. Number three, and then we're almost done, I promise. I do have a video to show you. I'm gonna share it after I ask you this. And you can put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself and share it. What prevents us from acting, from doing the three, three to fives, from going out there and sharing this message with others? What holds us back? Fear, false evidence appearing real. Ooh, I like that, that's good. Fear of rejection. Natalie, I am with you on that 100%. Lauren, fear of judgment. Fear, fear, the F word. Fear, 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 fear. Okay, any other guesses what holds us back? I think you guys know. It's actually the big U word. Ready for it? Oh, Megan guessed correctly. Us, right? And I say that not saying that you guys prevent yourselves like, myself included, we, us, we prevent ourselves from tapping into our maximum potential, from unlocking the potential of others, right? What do keys do? They help unlock things. That's what you do as Beachbody coaches. You hold these keys, decide, commit, and then the third one, succeed, which we're gonna hit. The most important key is you. And we've gotta get past our own mindset, our own ability to act and stay consistent, and we gotta do it. I know it's hard and I see, and I can't see your name girly, but I know you got your little little one on your lap and I have so much respect for you because I know it's, it's hard to, to manage the kiddos, you know, to try to build this thing, to reach out to people. For those that don't have kids, if you have a full-time job, if you travel, if you have family commitments, it's hard guys. It is hard to make this work, but all of you are here tonight because you wanna make it work, right? And we have to get out of our own ways if this is going to work. And it does work. I promise you that. Go to Summit and watch how many people have made this work, okay? What prevents us? Us. This also does. You guys mentioned this, lack of confidence and credibility. Guys, you're gonna have times where you don't feel confident and you don't feel like you have the credibility to be a coach. You feel like I have to have, you know, I can't really talk about 80 day obsession because I've never done it. I'm gonna finish the program, so I'm gonna wait till I'm done doing it before I talk about it. You know more about health and wellness, you know more about Shakeology, you know more about Beachbody on demand than 99.9% .9 of the planet. So own it, right? Act as if you've completed every program. Don't lie, but have that confidence. You know what I mean? Act like you're already in that, that dream home that you're looking to build one day with this. Act like you're already, you know, have that time freedom. Be real, share your journey, okay? People connect with the process, guys. They connect with the journey that you're going through to get there. So share that but act as if you're already there, right? That confidence is huge. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Let that resonate. I always share it on my trainings. Christy's like, I know I've heard it every single time you come to Pittsburgh. It's true. Ask yourself, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? Start now. It'll make a huge, huge difference, okay? What else prevents us? Oh, this is a cool quote, but I won't share it because I forgot it was in the presentation. Journey to greatest stuff becomes at the moment that the challenge and contribution become more important than comfort and ease. That's cool. I'm going to skip that one though. It's meant to take it out. What else prevents us? This little C word. Comparison. And those that are at the retreat, you know the picture that I'm about to put on the screen. To me, guys, this is the ultimate example of how comparison can either motivate us to do better and improve ourselves or how it can hold us back in terms of jealousy, in terms of woe is me, in terms of being really mad at people because they have more success than we do. Here we go. This guy. I love this photo. I shared it in almost every single one of my trainings. This is Michael Phelps. You guys have probably heard of him, right? Most winningest gold medal, medalist. Ask yourself, who am I in this picture as a beach body coach? Do I find myself in Michael Phelps' position? Or do I find myself more often than not in his opponent's position, Chad LaClose? Guys, in this race, I won't go into it too much. Usually I give the whole background up. I'm just going to say it with this. 
This is the last leg of Michael Phelps last race at the Olympics. This is an actual photo was taken while they were swimming. Okay. It's okay to look around and learn and grow and compare ourselves because you know what? I love what they've done. They've only been a coach for a year and a half and I've been doing this for two years. I'm going to, I'm going to do that too. You know, I'm going to do my best to do even more. If you look over there and you say, man, I'm really, really upset at that person. Why do they get everything good? I've been doing this longer. I should be way ahead of them, right? You can see the difference in feeling and mindset and motivation there. Be Michael Phelps. In this actual race, Phelps is focused straight ahead on his goal, okay, on where he's wanting to get, and it's that little pad that you're pushing in the pool to win the race. Michael Phelps won gold in this race. Chad Leclerc, number four, which if you've ever competed in the Olympics, which I don't know if any of you ever have. If you have, then you can relate to this. If you take fourth, you're not on the podium. No one remembers you. Goal not met, right? utilize comparison to drive you and it'll help you overcome that doubt that fear and it'll really help you get some traction in your business almost done guys promise and you're like yay no more monotone voice dude from corporate this is the last one what else prevents us fear of failure and carolyn emmy christy all those that were at the retreat this you did not hear about this one Fear of failure and not taking the shot, okay? Guys, tonight I've shared a bunch of stuff about challenge packs and how to innovate with bars and all that stuff, right? And the three, three to fives and how you can use that kind of as a measuring stick for your consistency and taking action now. We are afraid to fail. But I can promise you, this is always my favorite part of this training, None of us wake up in the morning saying we're going to go out and fail. None of us are just going to wake up and say, I'm going to go suck. The, I'm just going to be the suckiest, biggest McSuckerton today, and I'm going to suck at everything I do. I just suck, suck, suck. Right? None of us do that. And if you do, you and I are doing another call, and we're going to talk about mindset a little bit more. But we don't wake up expecting to fail. But guess what? It's going to happen. We're going to fail after this call. You're going to burn dinner. Uh, you're going to wake up and not want to work out. I don't know. Okay? We fail at life. It's okay. Accept it, own it, learn from it, and go. You're like, easier said than done, dude. I hate failing. I do too. But those that successful people are the ones willing to do uncomfortable things. And failing is uncomfortable. When you're willing to do it and go through it, that's when you get better and that's when you can influence other people. Now, not taking the shot. What do I mean by that? I love sports. If you saw my office, you probably see why. There are all sorts of sports references in here but guys what prevents us from reach our full potential from unlock, use, using those keys to success is not taking the shot when we have it you guys all have shots that you can take every single day whether it's reaching out to somebody whether it's following up whether it's completing a program whether it's doing your workout for 10 minutes even though you can't get 30 in like you have to get 10 minutes in right take a shot to get results now i usually share a story about my little girl in her awesome dance class Sorry, Emmy, Carolyn, everyone that was at the retreat, you don't get to hear that one tonight because I found another story that, in my opinion, is really impactful because every time I watch it, I get goosebumps, I get chills, and it really drives this home, home this point of the importance of taking the shot. And that's how I'm going to end the training, and then I'm done. Yay, everyone's going to be so happy. But I'm going to show this video real quick, okay? And as you watch it, ask yourself, what do I take away from this? What's, what's my biggest takeaway? And we won't get a chance to go around to everyone, but share your takeaway in the chat, okay? And I'll probably ask one or two of you to share out loud, but what's your biggest takeaway in regards to not taking the shot or taking the shot from this video, okay? So I'm gonna play it. And so I can see Emmy and Lauren right now. So when I play it, if you can hear the sound and see it, just fine, just give me a thumbs up. Is that cool? All right, and we're almost done. Then it's back to family time. Oh, succeed. Take the shot and help others unlock their potential. That's your key here. Sorry, I forgot about that slide. We'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, here we go. What we all want in life is a shot. But what we do with it, that's the story we all want to tell. I've coached for 25 years and I've never experienced that, uh, you know, the emotional high of, of what happened. What happened for Jason McKelwin, or J-Mac as his friends call him, is about more than a shot. Diagnosed with autism at two years old, now identified as highly functioning, 
he's never considered himself different or separate, especially when it comes to sports. Sports has always been, how could I say, his equalizer. He's like, just like any of the other kids out there. It's, it's not really a big deal at all. I'm just, I'm just normal like other people. That's the way I am. At five foot six, J Mac didn't make the junior varsity basketball team at his high school, Greece Athena, near Rochester, New York. Instead, he became team manager, a role he now has for the varsity as a senior. In the last three years, in his white shirt and black tie, he's missed only one game. During practice, I set up the clock and get the water in the games and be enthusiastic. <laughs> As this season was wrapping up, Coach Johnson approached Jason with an idea about the Trojans' final home game of the season. I said, you know, I'm really going to look to try to get you in the game, but remember, I can't promise you that. And he is okay, Coach. February 15th, Greece Athena against Spencerport, senior night. With word out that Jason might play, the student section printed signs of J-Mac's face, just in case. And with 4.19 left in the game, with the Trojans up by 20, coach called down to the end of the bench for number 52. I just kind of turned and pointed at him, and uh, he almost ran right on the court. He was so excited. Hey, Jay, you got to check in. So he hits the buzzer. He doesn't go anywhere. It's like, now you go on the court. You know, he was so he was so caught up in the moment. He came into the game. They all stood up and hit the pitch. Pictures of him up, and I got really emotional. And I sat yeah. down, started crying. With 3:46 left, Jason got the ball. When he missed that first three, I was like, "Oh!" And then it airballed, and I was like, "Man, I really just want to see him score one time." I put my head in my hands, like, "Dear God, please, let's just get him a basket." Then, with 3:12 left, another chance. That third trip down the court. And <laughs> to the third, hit my first shot, just got shooting, and I was just hot as a pistol. Shot <laughs> after shot. Kept going in. The pass is like it's big little huge bucket. And uh, I was shooting like the free throws. This is a big old huge bucket that's like huge. And I was like, oh my God, is this really happening? He has more than more points than me, so he's got bragging rights over me. He was unstoppable for that moment in time. He was unstoppable. Comes down the court right at the end with like three seconds left and he hits this one that's, you know, probably like an NBA for you. As soon as the game ended, they stormed the court. I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't dream of anything like that. It was probably the one championship. Yeah, everyone was just so happy. In that four minutes, 19 seconds, from three point range, 20 points. J Mac was the high scorer. Truly the most incredible moment I've ever had in coaching. I was so touched. And um, it, it was just so special to me that a young man, his dream came true. You know, and that I could help that exhaustion. What we all want in life is a shot. J Mac took his. And now it's a story we can all tell. Pretty awesome, right? I think I don't know how many times I see it, and every time I see it, I, I get I get inspired to take the shot, right? And that's that's really what it's all about. But what are, what are some of the things you take away from that? Why would Jeff randomly show that on a training about mindset and taking the shot? What do you take away from it? Carolyn says, "When you have momentum, keep going with it. When you're hot, you're hot." Yeah. What do you say? I was hot as a pistol. <laughs> if you're given an opportunity, you can and will succeed if you believe you can. Love it, Natalie. Great point. I'm sure they'll keep coming in here. You know what's cool is you, is you guys are sending those, kind of your takeaways from it. There's another video, if you ever get a chance, it's on YouTube, and ESPN's done a great job with these, but 
I think last year, like ABC News or something did a follow-up story. And J-Mac, it's been like four or five years, six years now. He's actually an assistant coach for the basketball team. Um, he has a book, like a published book <laughs> about his story. He plays golf and, you know, sports with these athletes on the weekends that invite him to come and plays. You know, it's, it's just opened up this whole new world to him. Um, and he says, that if you don't go for it with your all, you won't know what might have been. I love that point. It's pretty obvious, guys, right? Take the shot. It says in there, in life, we all want a shot. You guys right now, you have an opportunity to take a shot. You have an opportunity to take multiple shots a day with your teams, with your business, okay? And I can't overstate that. Kelly, never feel like you can. Amazing things will happen if you just go for it, All right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wait, Gretzky, great quote there, Carolyn. I'm inviting you guys, this third key with the whole succeed thing, take the shot. What I draw from this video, yes, J-Mac got a chance to go on the court and he took a shot, he missed one, and he kept going, he made lots of shots, made this great moment for everybody. That's just what you guys do, you help make moments for people, but I love that the coach took a shot, right? Is he gonna be like mocked or ridiculed by people? No, I'm like, how can anybody be mad at that situation? But the coach took a shot, right? He took a shot in allowing him to go out and play, and because he was willing to unlock that potential in JMAC, JMAC took a shot and unlocked potential and belief in a lot of other people. So my invitation for you guys with this third key of succeed, decide, commit, succeed, is to take the shot and help others unlock their full potential, right? I love this quote because it is what you guys do. You possess the keys that help others unlock their full potential, right? If you're ever doubting yourself, if you're ever struggling, if you're riding high on momentum and you're just killing it, remember, you possess keys that help others unlock their full potential. Someone that never thought that they could work out is doing it. They couldn't do a push-up a, a week or two ago and now can do one or two, okay? Someone that didn't have self-confidence in themselves and now you're helping them do that through this great environment and culture that this team has created. Guys, you help people unlock their full potential. Believe it, own it, and take the shot to make that happen. Any questions, thought, take the shot in the next tattoo? Oh, geez, here we go. Um, any thoughts or questions, feel free to, to share them or any questions you guys got. That, that, that's what I have. Sorry, I ran a little long, but. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw in the chat box, but I'm going to put a shot clock in the team page starting tomorrow or a basketball net or some kind of thing. And every day you're going to comment that you took the shot. How's that sound from now until the end of the year? And you will too, right? I'm going to take that shot every day. <laughs> you like that idea, Emmy? Yeah. Okay. I was kidding about the tattoo though. <laughs> Get a basketball. I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us tonight. We really appreciate it as always. Um, we've got a lot of information we have to chew on now and can't just have it sit there. We actually have to take action on it. So I hope you guys have notes and I'm going to be um, posting. I got to take a picture really quick. So let's get you out of um, full screen mode. I want to take a little photo of everyone. So. I'm going to post this in the team page and I want your takeaways from the call underneath of it. So when you're ready, smile. Oh, it doesn't lag anymore. That's great. All hey right. Guys, hey guys, I didn't tell you this, but thank you for what you do. Um, I mean, we really just appreciate what you guys do. We care about you. We know that it can be hard, but boy, you guys really are doing something special and just, from all of us here, like we get to do what we love to do because of you. So thank you. We're with you. And uh, we can't wait to see what happens next with this thing. So appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Does anyone have any questions before we let him go? Just want to make sure I didn't cut anyone off from asking questions. No? We're good. Okay, just checking. I didn't want to like not let you ask your question if you had one <laughs> connect with me so all right yeah he, he posted his um info in the top if you scroll all the way up to the top of the chat if you want to save that yeah, real quick. It. Uh, and i just posted it again too oh you did it again okay there you go all right guys thanks for hopping on thank you jeff for spending time with us as always we appreciate it
no uh, worries. information to work on now. And if you're going to stay around for the diamond call, uh, just hang out. And if you're not a diamond yet, you'll be here soon. So just keep working hard and you'll be on the call very, very soon. So thanks again. Happy Thanksgiving. See Bye. ya. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy Thanksgiving with your families. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We end this.